Hi there, this is Ben Borat from the product marketing team at Anthology, and I'm delighted to share with you a sneak preview of the brand new flexible grading functionality that is coming to Blackboard Learn Ultra from August. Now, flexible grading has been developed in consultation and in collaboration with hundreds of instructors right around the world, and it's designed to make the grading experience not only faster, but also far more intuitive for instructors and to make it easier for them to provide meaningful feedback direct to their students. So let's take a look at it in action. We have here a course and we're in the gradebook. Many of you will recognize this view. It provides us with a list of items for grading and we're gonna go ahead and click on the unit one test. Now clicking on that brings up a list of students who participated and we're going to click on this student here, Molly Bortha. And doing that brings up the brand new flexible grading interface. And you can see straight away, it looks completely different to anything you will have seen when grading in Blackboard Learn in the past. Along the left hand side here, the instructor will see a list of their students. So they can easily click on the student they wish to grade, and then they will see the responses from that student for each question in the test. Another thing that an instructor can do here, which is really valuable, as we can see here at the top left of screen, is filter by grading status. So if they select needs grading, what that will bring up is only the students that they haven't graded yet. So they can focus their time and energy on those students, which is really valuable for instructors. Another thing that we know instructors are gonna absolutely love within flexible grading is they can either grade by student, as we've just seen, or they can click here on questions and grade on a question by question basis instead. So you'll see that having clicked the, here, the interface changes completely. Now on the left-hand side, we have each of the questions, and in the main section of the screen, we have each of the students' responses to that question. The other thing you'll note is that the instructor can see progress tracking. So they're constantly aware of what they have graded and what they haven't. In this particular case, they'll see that questions one, two, and three have all been graded. However, question four, they still have some attempts to grade. So if we click on question four, again, here you can see every student's response to that question. This is really, really valuable for instructors as it allows them to compare and contrast different responses from different class members as part of the grading process. The other thing that they can do here is in instances like Mariana's, where she's actually attempted this question twice, it's very easy for the instructor to look separately at those submissions and indeed to grade them as they wish, okay? The final thing I wanna point out in terms of grading a test is if we go back to the student's view, what the instructor can then do is click on this arrow on the far right of the screen and that opens up the feedback panel. This allows them to give direct feedback to the student, Julian in this case, and that can be either written feedback via this text box or by clicking on this plus button, they can provide multimedia feedback as well. Whatever they think is gonna be most beneficial for Julian. If the instructor set up rubrics or originality checking, that will also be available by this right hand panel. Finally, before I finish the, the demo, I'd like to quickly look at an essay because there's a couple of bits of functionality specific to essays and similar assessments that are really valuable within flexible grading. So again, we're here in our task, we can select a student, we're going to select Julian in this case. And again, that brings up the flexible grading interface and you'll see we have Julian's submission here in the main part of the screen. What you'll notice is for a task like this, an essay or other kind of text heavy task, you really wanna have as much of the screen to look at the submission as possible. So what an instructor can do is click on this arrow here and actually hide the left-hand side menu. And what that means is they can then have way more real estate to actually look at and read through Julian's essay. The final thing that I wanna point out is 
Again, within an essay question, the instructor can use this right-hand panel and provide inline feedback direct to Julian. The other thing that they can do from this panel is see the grading rubric. So if they want to have that in mind as they're reading through his essay, that's absolutely something that an instructor can do with the new flexible grading interface. So that's just a really quick demonstration. We're very, very excited to bring this to market. As I mentioned at the start, it will be available from August in its initial release, but there will then be additional builds in the following months. So stay tuned to the roadmap presentations, and we can't wait to hear feedback from instructors on how they're enjoying the brand new flexible grading experience in LearnUltra.